Good morning, everybody. Hey, this is Paul Damon, the Nicaragua real estate team member. And what I'm doing right now, I'm going to uh, cook some bok choy. I'm going to do a kind of a Indonesian flair to it. I got ginger, garlic, an onion, a carrot. If you want to add some more carrots, you can. I got turmeric. I got sambal ulek, which is something I bought out of uh, the U.S., but this is also an ingredient that I get in the Netherlands, which is Indonesian. Ketchup manis is like a soy sauce. Again, it comes from the Netherlands, but it's Indonesian style. And we bought some sesame oil also in the Netherlands. And then we are adding two additional uh, Thai spices that we still have so i'm just going to make a mix of different spices and make a bok choy so first i'm going to cut uh everything up and then i'm going to start uh by basically cooking some of the vegetables and then i will add the bok choy at the end so basically now i'm going to add one spoon of all the different uh, spices i have and mix them together okay here you can see i've added uh, basically three different spices that i had a spoonful of each and here i'm going to crush some uh, sesame seed again also a spoonful and if i didn't have these ingredients i would just look through my kitchen and add uh, the different ingredients that i do have uh, from the large uh, stores for example for sample I would be adding uh, the curry powder and uh, that's at least one of them that I can see right now that I have and I have turmeric and powder uh, etc so I put some sesame oil and oil in the pan and now I'm going to start with the onions the garlic and start working on this pile right here and then add uh, all my spices that I put together. I'm going to throw them all in the pot as I go. So I basically have everything in there now that we started with earlier. I did add some uh, red chilies that I forgot to uh, show in the, pr in the previous uh, part of the video. But I added all the most of the spices. I got a little bit left that I will be adding as I cook the bok choy. And the way we cut the bok choy is in a fairly large size. We just don't like to cut it in the smaller size. We like to the taste. It does reduce a little bit in size. So we just like uh, the, this type of size, especially for the stems. I basically put the bok choy in in layers so I can put some of my spices in. So I put a little bit less than half and I still have a little bit more than half to go. And here you can see that I used half of the spice. And as you, and as you can see, I kind of uh, mixed everything around. Uh, so you get all the flavors from the carrots, the onions, the garlic, etc. and the spices. And now I'm going to add the second batch of the bok choy. So I've added the second batch of the bok choy. And you, as you can see, I've also added the remaining spices. I'm going to put some sesame oil over it. And then put my ketchup mayonnaise. And afterwards, when it's reduced a little bit, I will add my sambal ulak. Okay, so this is how the dish is going to look at the end. It's done. I'm going to store it. Uh, you can do white rice, brown rice. Uh, also, one of the things that I like to do is make an omelet or a fried egg above it. And then we start plating it with such things as uh, these silver onions and uh, gherkins and other things to enhance the flavor. So one of the things that's really good to do is you use these uh, onions, etc. as a cold. And then you have a warm dish and you have sweet, you got sour, etc and it will enhance the flavors of the food that you're eating. Have an awesome day. Thanks for watching this video.